Coming up today on YOLO Texas. We say it's Christmas! Pew, pew, pew! So Santa Claus is here at Holiday in the Park. He is here and you will meet him. We always want to wish all our guests a Merry Texas Christmas, y'all. Join us on our trip across Texas. explode Christmas over here. <laughs> um, on our property, we have over 2 million holiday lights. There's 15,000 ornaments. We have a 54 foot tall uh, Christmas tree that does a light show every evening. There's 20 foot tall nutcrackers. It's just everywhere you look, so many photo opportunities, so many places for people to get a great Christmas card photo yeah. um, and just enjoy together. I love it. Okay, so I know each year it changes. There's a different theme. Yeah. So what um, are we gonna get into this year? Brand new this year, our marquee Christmas experience is called Mission Save Christmas, featuring Elf. So we collaborated with Warner Brothers. Oh. And you walk through all the famous scenes from the Elf movie, but there's a lot of fun missions inside for kids to complete in it. order to get that clausometer up to power <laughs> Santa's sleigh. There you go. So that's a really fun, big 14,000 square foot attraction we have this year. Love it. And then outside brand new, we have Marion Light, okay. uh, which is an outdoor walkthrough light oh, attraction with yeah. about 400,000 Christmas lights. So in our Christmas village, there's the ice skating rink. It's a 6,000 square foot indoor ice skating rink made with real ice. So that's an experience most families in Texas don't get to do exactly. together is go Snow ice skating on real ice. <laughs> um, and we also have a beautiful antique painted Christmas carousel. Oh. There's a two story tall eight lane snow tubing hill, yes. a snow throw. <laughs> One of my favorites is the build your own snowman. Oh my goodness, So yes. you can build a full size snowman with real snow and we have all the decorations to put on it. Another experience that kids don't normally get to do yeah. here in Texas. So there's a lot of stuff in Christmas Village. And then if you're over on this side of the hotel where we are now, uh -huh. there's gingerbread decorating, which is very fun. Families can decorate a gingerbread house. Um, we also have our Elf Workshop, which is a great place to go do some crafts and some canvas paintings. Oh my goodness. So you can choose from a variety of different yeah. paintings. And I see just as many adults doing it as children, <laughs> which is fun. Yes, I yeah. could go on and on I know, and on. I know, I know. Well, thank you so much. There's thank so you. much to do. What should we do first? Oh, goodness. I say we should do some gingerbread decorating. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Martha. Thanks. All right, because we can't do anything without competition. <laughs> I brought in Jackie, our producer, so we can have a friendly gingerbread cooking competition. <laughs> You're eating all your building supplies. Hey, my shingles look pretty good. <laughs> See this technique? Competition is fierce. <laughs> Something's falling. <laughs> You done? Merry Christmas. We brought in Jaya to be the official judge. Which one do you think is right. the best Take one? Take your time. One, two, three. Which one? Oh! Hello, we're here for the ELF workshop. We're off to an okay start. Yeah, like no pressure, because I'm just looking around at everyone else's here, and our pros over here think this is a masterpiece but every true artist needs to sign Popololo. Shiny! 
Making progress. One more room. Got her. Nina, we did it! We saved Christmas! Pew, pew, pew! Alright, here we go. Check it out. That's my snowman. That's three. But we did it. Ta da! <laughs> they only look one of you! <laughs> All right, so now that it is dark time outside, we get to experience the merry and light, and everything is right in the world right now. I even got hot chocolate, so let's enjoy it. Feel like an angel. Okay, I need this Christmas tree in my house. So I see Christmas list here, and uh, I don't see my name on this list, and uh, I got some work to do. <laughs> All right, so I didn't see my name on the nice list, but luckily Mrs. Claus is here. Let's go have a chat. See what I can do to up my game. Hello! Yay, it's Mrs. Claus! How oh, are you? Oh, thank you? I've been calling this my vacation home. What do you think? It's lovely. It's <laughs> lovely. I, you know, I may have seen one earlier today, similar. Oh. Uh, it was a much smaller size, oh, though. Not nearly as this. No, oh, no. Much. It actually tasted quite lovely. <laughs> oh, no, this one tastes <laughs> awful. I have the old taste before. This is not a good taste. I am so ready for the Christmas season. I need um, all of the advice to get onto that ni that nice list because I might be. Oh, I've got it for you. Are you ready? Yes. Now, if you really want to get in with Santa, okay. His favorite cookie. Oh, Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. That's right. All right. Good to know. So if you make him a batch of Snickerdoodle, he'll be right <laughs> up on the night. Well, thank you, Mrs. Claus. It was lovely to see you, you as well. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yay. What's Christmas like at an amusement park? Find out after the break. It's the most wonderful time of the year and I am ready for my Christmas adventure here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas Holiday in the Park. When the sun sets, the park becomes a true winter wonderland. We have over a million lights glistening throughout the park. We have the beautiful setup here in Texas State Square with our giant nutcrackers. We have our Taste of Holiday in the Park Food Festival. And we also have several limited time offerings that are just available this time of year, including our empanadas, our holiday meal, our bacon wrapped donut hole kebab, which is absolutely wow. delicious. It's my personal favorite. And then of course, plenty of Christmas cocktails. A little birdie told me that you do a beautiful Christmas tree lighting. Every evening at six o'clock, the magic moment happens. Santa Claus is here, the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It's a huge moment in the park. It's absolutely beautiful. It's accompanied by fireworks. It is the, the perfect Christmas moment. How long does the Holiday Park last? Holiday in the Park runs select weekends and days through January 2nd. The shows run through December 23rd. And of course, Santa Claus is only here and through December 23rd. After that, he becomes a very busy man. So Santa Claus is here at Holiday in the Park. He is here and you will meet him. Well, I'm excited because this is literally my dreams coming true in Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Well, you're gonna have a great night, so let's get started. Let's do it, I'm ready. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, Sweet and laid him in a manger. Child in peace Oh, 
show was absolutely amazing. I kid you not, I almost cried. It was so beautiful and it was so well done. And y'all, I saw a sheep, I saw a camel, and the sheep knew where to run. The coolest thing ever. Please welcome the Sleigh Bells. Okay, y'all, it's been an amazing time so far, but I am ready to get my grub on. So we are starting off with the holiday meal. You have mashed potato stuffing and turkey with gravy on top. And when you get the holiday meal, you also get a side salad and a slice of pie. Oh my gosh. So good, so flavorful, and that gravy, chef's kiss. They also have more than just turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. These guys right here is a bacon donut hole kebab. Oh my gosh. The saltiness from the bacon and the sweetness from the donut hole, a perfect match. They have you covered with the meals, but they have some creative drinks on the menu. This guy right here, look how beautiful that looks. This is a toasted marshmallow cocktail. Wow, it's literally sweetness and Christmas all in one cup. Now, if you are a chocolate person like I am, this is it. It is a s'mores cake a la mode. You got a marshmallow, brownie, and ice cream. Look at that marshmallow. Wow. The brownie with the chocolate syrup and the marshmallow ice cream. It's a little messy, but it's totally worth it. Make sure to get all of this because you will not be disappointed. Now I'm going to go finish seeing the rest of the park, all of the beautiful Christmas lights. I'm going to grab my hot chocolate here and catch more of the shows right now. all year to see you. Can you promise me something? I have one thing to ask. When you're wrapping my presents, can you watch um, Six Flags Holiday in the Park on Yolo, Texas? Sure will. Yes! Thank you, Santa Claus! Coming up next, we head into Santa's Wonderland to enjoy the Christmas spirit. have Christmas magic everywhere you look. Come on in and see what's new at Santa's Wonderland. It's that time of year. It's time to deck the halls, to roast some chestnuts on an open fire, to spread some Christmas cheer. And we are at one of the best places in Texas to do just that, Santa's Wonderland. You know, it's our 24th season here at Santa's Wonderland, and we've grown so much, and there is nothing we embody more than to spread the joy of the season and go above and beyond for every one of our guests. Thank and you. I hope you have 
a Merry Texas Christmas with I'm us. I'm totally gonna have a Merry Texas Christmas. This place just makes me so happy. I've been before and y'all have so much more now. Well, you know, the big addition is our new Santa's farm, new ice skating rink, and the new snow field where all the kids can get out and throw snowballs make snowmen and snow okay. women and it holds so many youngsters can come into it kids of all ages okay. even you even me can come okay. into it oh my gosh you're making my christmas dreams come true this is so exciting and then you also just you have the classics like the carriage ride mm -hmm. that last time i was here literally brought me to tears it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful and also you'll have some great food oh like, do we ever <laughs> award-winning Cajun food or Paladura Pizzeria, which is never to disappoint. Y'all have so much going on here. Y'all bring so much joy to so many people. And it's just, it's amazing. It's truly our pleasure to keep that spirit alive. We always want to wish all our guests a Merry Texas Christmas, y'all. We are in the West Pole and we are going to do snow tubing, which isn't really like done in Texas. We usually just go tubing on the river, but this is gonna be so awesome. Look at the line of people. Merry Christmas, y'all. Sometimes when you hear a song, a Christmas Carol just puts you in that mood and just makes you want to watch a Christmas movie and just warms your heart. I love this time of year. First ride of the season. Aha, <laughs> YOLO Texas. If only my Christmas display could look like this. I mean, I'm sure I'd win all the prizes, right? <laughs> I'm just so excited. Coming up next, more from our adventures during Christmas in College Station. Good morning, y'all. We are here in College Station for the holiday season and we have a full day planned ahead here in the heart of Aggieland. We're here at Aggieland Outfitters kicking off Christmas. Um, we have over 20 vendors here selling Christmas themed items. This is wonderful. <laughs> thank like, you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Like, this is great. You're bringing everybody in the community out and you're getting them out here to Aggieland Outfitters. Absolutely. So the idea is really just to leave a really large economic footprint. Um, we want people to enjoy their time here, get into our businesses, our stores. It's not only an economic impact, but it's just people coming together to enjoy the holidays. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I love Christmas and you have a special ornament that you are selling? Yes. Tell me about that. We started thinking about it, you know, at the beginning of the year. Aggieland Outfitters designed it for us. It's the skyline of our community and it says oh, the heart wonderful. of Aggieland on it. Um, so it, it's actually dated. So the idea is for us to implement a new one each year for yep. people to purchase while they're here. How cool. Yeah. You are doing a lot. Y'all are just doing a <laughs> lot. Well, we're working to make College Station the ultimate Christmas destination. I saw your signs earlier. They're super cute. Thank you. They're all hand drawn. Very cool. And of course, like this is the most appropriate for the season. How do you see it? Did you do all of this yeah. yourself? We have a little team. It's a family kind of run business. So oh. there's like six of us. So. Oh my gosh. Yes. These are like works of art. This is 
Century Square, one of our newer entertainment districts. As you can tell, it's very family friendly. Yeah. Lots of shopping options, dining options. You can get your food and drinks, come back out here on the green. Everybody's like out here just chilling. They've got the dogs, <laughs> the kids, everyone. It really <laughs> yeah. is. It's the place to be. We also host some of our Christmas events here as well. Okay. So we'll have a holiday artisan market here in December. Century Square hosts a gingerbread build off as well. Y'all have something super cool in College Station during the holidays, which are your Santa certified hotels. Yes, our Santa certified hotels partner with us as well as Santa's Wonderland. Two of our Santa certified hotels are actually here in the Century okay. Square Entertainment District, nice. the George and Calvary Court. So what else do you have going on in College Station during the holidays? We also have Northgate Entertainment District. We host Howdy Holiday there this year. It includes a sip and shop portion. Oh, cool. There's 50 plus vendors out there. It's just another a great yeah. environment. Okay. And I'm excited to have you guys at the Brazos Valley Christmas Tree Farm. I'm excited. I've never been to a Christmas tree farm. We'll get to do a hayride and look at some beautiful there lights is. again. And y'all yes. have so much going on. It's pretty amazing. Yes, yeah, so we're so excited. Santa's Wonderland brings so many people into mm -hmm. our community and we're excited to have family and friends, our residents participating, as well as people from out of state coming here. It really just does, it warms my heart to see everyone celebrating the holidays here in College Station. Yeah, so we're at Breast Valley Christmas Tree Farm. Yeah. It's a locally owned and operated Christmas tree farm. So they've been here since 1998. Oh, it looks great out here. So you can either enjoy a hayride or you can drive through your family in your own vehicle. Oh, that's cool. That's a yeah. really cool option. That's perfect. This is not, so cute. I love it. I do too. Not only can you make s'mores with your family and friends, but you can make memories and that is what means the most.